Okay, we are on top of the mountain here at the Chinese base camp towards uh, Mount Everest. Now this is the uh, closest view one can get of Mount Everest. There it is, top of the world. Helicopter uh, at this point uh, because I'm not wearing the proper dress. Not still, uh, this is the surrounding. Uh, this is uh, Pedro, whom we call uh, Duki Atma. This is Stefan, Bulgarian Atma, and this is Kari, Bhatkiwi Atma. What? <laughs> Can you translate this? <laughs> so this is the surrounding. So there you can see the uh, police checkpoint. And we quickly turn. And what kind of Atma you are, Andy? Huh? <laughs> what kind of Atma you are? Kara. <laughs> Okay, this is my group. Uh, no, no, I mean assembling here because my battery is now. For a photo shoot. Okay. Okay. What is that? Somebody maybe from here to yeah, yeah, for the biscuit. Uh, you stand like this and take it from that side. Things no, that no. you can see, you can see the close-up of uh, some of the mountains, and probably uh, some frozen. Uh, uh, from here to there? Like yeah, 80. 80. From here to there? Yeah. Water flow? Look like a very mess. Yeah. yeah. Looks like very really close. Yeah. Near, but... Uh, yeah. Oh my God. One, you can document it. From what? here to Everest, yeah. 80 kilometers. From here to Everest, 80 kilometers, okay? We are at uh, 5,200 meters. Everest is... Uh, 8,000... Yeah. Like very close. The bike is... 700 or something. So yesterday I go to the temple in... in... where we live. I think... in Dingri. I think... I can walk to Mount Everest. Three or four hours. Have time. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. We need our own. Oh. I'm trying to visit us here. This is the other like side picture. of Mount Everest. Curry, wait. Curry, Petro. Curry. Yeah. Curry. Come back. Uh, this is a water uh, fountain flowing near the base camp. That's my group walking down from the base camp. This is another beautiful uh, rock formations. Frozen water fountain. This is uh, Tingri village, which is uh, closest to uh, the Everest base camp from the uh, uh, Tibet side. So this is a uh, uh, this highway is called uh, Friendship Highway. It links uh, Lhasa to Kathmandu, and then all the way to uh, Beijing. So this is just a one street uh, village. So as you can see, all the uh, houses. Mostly dependent on tourism, plus they also grow barley. This is the place where uh, we are staying. Compared to other uh, guest houses uh, on the way that we have come across, this is uh, a bit more decent, but as you can see, very basic. This is the entrance to the uh, hotel. This is typical uh, kitchen 
facility uh, which is much better than uh, any other basic ones that you get some of them are here in open uh, toilets uh, fortunately it has got shower also so after three four days of taking shower is a great uh, facility that you can avail of uh, these are our vehicles which are using these are uh, the entrance to uh, the room that where we stayed Simple mud wall structures, but they put some curtains on that. These are our trekking bags. Here we've been carrying our stuff all these days. So, very basic facilities throughout uh, Tibet. So, one has to be really um, be ready to put up with any facility that is available. That's Marge there, yeah, getting ready to leave. Uh, the background is the uh, Himalayan range. You can see some clouds still there. But yesterday at Mount Everest we had fantastic, pristine, clear blue skies. <coughs> okay, we are now at Gansai. Ancient cities uh, in Tibet, uh, entering the uh, main temple. No. Uh, it's got a big fort, built sometime in 14, uh, sometime in 15th century. This is a pagoda stupa. You can see the outline of the fort. Now these are typical uh, bells around uh, Buddhist temples which you turn clockwise so for luck. This is the main entrance from inside. First time we are seeing some flowers in Tibet. <laughs> what? Is it true or not? 